David Ames. Julie Gianni. Hey, handsome. You're following me. <laughs> Just a little bit. Now, I wanted to talk to you about what we were talking about earlier. How did it go with our moth girl? Did she turn into a butterfly for you? Yes, she did. Yeah. Tell by the way you were walking, you didn't sleep with her. <laughs> Let me guess. You haven't slept with her because it's more fun when you can draw it out. Sex just isn't as good if a woman hasn't told all her friends she'd never sleep with you. You're right on the money, Julie. <laughs> so she's sweet. She's got great fucking tits. <laughs> she must be exhausted from trying to be witty for you all night long. Hey, Julie. I'm sorry. Like I had a bad night. I went home with a waiter who tried to give me career advice. <laughs> it was hideous. There's no guys like you, David. I'm still a little bit in the mood if you want to kill some time. You know, while we're waiting for Prince and Princess Charming, we've always got each other, darling. I have to get to work, really. I root for you, David. I only want you to be happy. Same to you. You just never seem to be there for your friends until they've already given up on you. I'm not blowing you off. I just, I want to be alone for a little bit. Trust me, I have a lot of things that I have to take care of. And if we're friends, which we are, okay, then you'll understand that. I'm sorry, I uh, guess I got weird. It's okay, all right? I missed an audition and uh, I just felt bad you didn't invite me to your party. You want to make it up to me? I won't tell us all.